The National Olympic Committee of Kenya's Electric Congress has been held today with a general assembly attended by various sports federations affiliated with it. It is an election that sparked interest from 27 candidates battling to secure the available position on offer in the ballot. The election that was presided over by Centre for Corporate Governance CEO Joshua Okumbe saw so virtually all the incumbents keep their seats. So we have a lot of work to do, especially now the, 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 the Commonwealth which is coming up and also the 2024 uh, Olympics in Paris. So we have so much. In fact, the, from here, it is us, we, we are actually moving to work immediately. We don't have time. We were very late, even in terms of this election uh, coming up. Former five-time World Cross Country Paul Tergat has retained his seat unopposed. Kenya Judo Federation President Shadrach Maluki and Kenya Volleyball Federation President Wethaka Kiuni retained their position as first and second deputy presidents, respectively. Francis Mutuku garnered 18 votes to beat his close rival Andrew Mudibo, who got five votes, while Francis Paul bagged one vote. Anthony Karyuki bagged 20 votes to retain his post as the treasurer, beating Moses Mbudia, who garnered seven votes. Karyuki will now be deputized by John Ogula, who trounced Agnes Oluch by 22 to 5 votes. Humphrey Hayange and Helen O'Berry will continue representing athletes with Paul Otula, Barnaba Korir and Winnie Kamau, bagging 22, 16 and 14 votes respectively to be elected as executive committee members. Football Kenya Federation, FKF and Badminton Kenya were however excluded from the elections due to the disbandment of the former by the government and the suspension of the latter by the International Badminton Federation. Javis Mberia, Ebru Sports.